Hello and welcome to the second video on the project corner. Today I would like to look into visual reports and specifically to a issue that you might run into. I call this the changing time granularity. So let's have a look at a brief history. Visual reports have been around since 2007. It used the, uh, it used to leverage Excel and Visio to show reports. And since the 2013 version of project, it also has a native reporting um, uh, option. Now, both of these have an issue. And that issue I would like to call the time struggle. It can be frustrating to get the correct time granularity in your reports. You might see years where you expect quarters. You might see quarters where you expected weeks. Most of the time, those reports won't show the correct values right from the start. Today's video, I will give you uh, fast solutions for both the old versions of the reports as the new ones. Let's head over to Microsoft Project 2016. Now, if you've seen my previous video, you already know that I'm on the Office Insider program. So let's head over to File, Account, and in account, you will see information about the version of project. This one is Office Insider. So it's the latest version, and it might show values that you don't see in your version of Microsoft Project. The project that you're seeing here actually comes from the Office templates. So you have a software development project. And I changed that a little bit because software development nowadays goes agile. Um, so I changed it to hardware development. I also added some uh, progress. And to give a bit more information about costs, I've added resources together with their standard rates. So a manager might be 120 euros. I've also added something very important. And if you know a bit about myself, then you know that I do like to set a baseline every now and then. So this baseline was saved on the 10th of May and I could override it, but why would I? I already have this as a demo. So I'll click on cancel. So this project, it has progress, it has costs, it has a baseline, basically everything we need for a nice report. So let's head over and have a look at, for instance, well, costs is very interesting, right? So let's head over to the cash flow. So it has a lot of information in here, but the graph doesn't show very accurate data. It does show the accurate data, but not in a time granularity that we like. Let's have another example. So for instance, the burn down shows the information, but in a granularity that isn't very familiar to humans, right? We'll get back to the granularity here in our next, uh, in our solutions part. So let's take another look, but not on the new side of the reports, but let's also look into the old ones. So the old ones you can find in visual reports. And just like I said before, these leverage Excel and Visio. So you'll select a template, and that template will be gathered using the OLAP functionality. It, create, it basically creates a small file that is being consumed by an Excel template. If your project is bigger, it will show more, uh, it, need more it needs more time. But here is our cash flow report on quarters again. Let's head over to task usage. And here you'll see a pivot table. Now, if you're familiar with pivot tables, you know that you can outdent information. And this is actually a quite useful report. So there is useful information, but it isn't shown automatically. It shows you quarters where you'd expect weeks. So let's close this one and let's head over to a couple of the solutions that I would like to share with you. So again, we are in our hardware development project and this has everything we need for a good report. Let's head over to the burndown chart that we saw earlier. And let's click off one of these visuals because on the right side, you'll now have a field list. 
and on top is the one that I want to share with you time if you click on edit you can set the units so let's set this to months and let's set the count to one because we want to see every month and let's change the date format as well because that January 2009 doesn't sound quite right for such a small graph so let's click on OK and you see that it's the same graph but it shows better data so let's do the same thing with the other one click on the um, the visual set edit set the units set the count to one and let's change the date format for once so and here you see instant good data coming straight from your project you don't need to use any other tool let's uh, do the same for the cash flow here you'll have a small graph and that small graph is set to quarters at the moment but there's a number of options you can set it to minutes hours days weeks thirds of months months quarters half years and years now I'm not quite sure why they would choose a thirds of a month but yeah that that's probably useful somewhere but for me months will do the trick so I'll set it to one and I'll choose a small date format and I'll click on OK there you go it's a nice clean S curve like we used to see in the other visual so let's do the same and let's create a month basis report using the old visual reports again this is an Excel template but you'll can you can set the time granularity in this little checkbox here select level of usage for this report so normally it would be set to weeks but you can choose years quarters month days let's set it to months again you'll click on view it will generate that all up cube it will open up the Excel template and it the Excel template will consume the data from the OLAP cube but it only shows you two totals so let's head back over to the task usage here's the pivot table again and on the right side you actually need to add a value on the bottom of this chart you will see monthly calendar click on rows and open up that year value on the top left and you'll have every month of the year 2018 that obviously has data in it so let's clean this a bit more up let's make it a financial value and if we could head over to our chart we'll see the familiar S curve that we saw the earlier uh, time in the other report and the nice thing about this this is an office graph so this is something that you can grab and open up and change uh, so let's head over and remove the field buttons let's click on copy and let's open up word for instance because we can consume this graph in word just like we would in any other Microsoft tool you can also open it up in PowerPoint for instance straight for your monthly reports and you can do further changes here so change the data color or anything that you like instant nice reporting so that's it for today this was my second video and the previous one had a little trouble with uh, volume I hope this one comes over nice and clean now if you did like it, please hit like and subscribe.